this is a katna here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable for y so let's get started problem solve x p square minus 2 y p plus a x equals to 0 solution given equation is x p square minus 2 y p plus ax equals to 0. Now, we'll express the given equation in the form y equals to some function of x comma p or x and p. Okay. So, we are given this equation, right? You can write this as xp square. See, you are having y in the second term, right? So, we'll take it to RHS. So that will get xp square plus ax equals to 2yp. Again, you can write this as 2yp equals to xp square plus ax. Since we need to write the given equation in y equals to some function of x and p form. So for that purpose, you take 2p to RHS. Then you get y equals to xp square plus ax by 2p, right? Again, you can write this as xp square. Since we are having two terms, two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so you can express the total expression or you can split the total expression to two fractions. Okay? xp square by 2p and ax by 2, right. So, this equals to xp by 2, 1p gets cancelled, plus ax by 2p. So, now we are having y equals to xp by 2 plus ax by 2p. is in y equals to function of x and p form. Right? Fine. Now, we'll differentiate the total equation with respect to x on both sides. Okay? Then, dy dx of y equals to dy dx of xp by 2 plus ax by 2. Then, dy by dx equals to differentiate first term with respect to x and differentiate second term with respect to x. Okay? So, this is equals to here 1 by 2 is constant. So, take it outside this. So, you can write this as 1 by 2 into d by dx of xp plus here a by 2 is considered as constant. Then you will get a by 2 into d by dx of x by p. Okay. So, this is equals to 1 by 2 into since we know that u v whole dash equals to u dash v plus v dash u. Now, using this formula, we'll differentiate the x p here. We'll get dx by dx, that is differentiation of x with respect to x into v plus v dash. Derivative of p with respect to x into u plus a by 2 into u by v whole dash is u dash v 
minus b dash u by v square. So we'll use this formula here. Derivative of x into v minus derivative of v dash sorry v that is dp by dx into u by v square okay then dy by dx equals to 1 by 2 into dx by dx is 1 into p plus x into dp by dx plus a by 2 into dx by dx is 1 into p minus x into dp by dx by p square. Okay, this is equals to 1 by 2 into p plus x into dp by dx plus a by 2 into p minus x into dp by dx by p square. Okay. Now put dy by dx equals to p. Then you will get p equals to. Okay. Then p equals to p by 2. 1 by 2 into p is p by 2. Plus 1 by 2 into x into dp by dx is x by 2 into dp by dx plus a by 2 into p square into p minus x into dp by dx. Then p equals to p by 2 plus x by 2 into dp by dx plus a p by 2 p square minus a x by 2 p square into dp by dx. Okay? Then p equals to p by 2 plus third term a p by 2p square plus c so you're having x 2 and dp by dx common in these two terms right so let's take x by 2 and dp by dx common from these two terms then you'll get 1 minus a by p square Okay. Then P equals to P by 2 plus A P by 2 P square plus x by 2 into 1 minus a by p square into dp by dx. Okay, I'm writing the same thing. Fine. Now, find the LCM of 2 and 2p square. 2 ones are 2p squares. So 2p square is LCM of 2 and 2p square in the numerator. You'll get, here you're having p, right? So you'll get 1p and 2. p times 
here you are having 2 in the denominator and p in the numerator, right? We have taken 2p square LCM from these two denominators. So in the numerator, you will get p times p. Okay. p times p square. So that p square, p square will get cancelled and you will get p by 2 plus AP plus X by 2 into P square into 1 P square minus A into DP by DX is equals to P into P square is P cube plus AP by 2 P square plus x by 2 p square into p square minus a into dp by dx. So now take this term to LHS and you'll get p minus of p cube plus a p by 2 p square equals to x by 2 p square into p square minus a into dp by dx. Then p into 2p square minus p cube plus minus into plus minus a p by 2p square. Okay, this becomes p into 2p square minus p cube minus into plus minus a p by LCM 2p square equals to x by 2p square into p square minus a into dp by dx. So here you can cancel 2p square on both the sides. Okay, we have cancelled 2p square from both the denominators. Then, p into 2p square is 2p cube minus p cube minus a p equals to x into p square minus a into dp by dx. Then this becomes 2p cube minus p cube is p cube minus a p equals to x times p square minus a into dp by dx. Now take p common from both the terms. We get p times p square minus a equals to x times p square minus a into dp by dx. Now you can take this to LHS and we will get p times p square minus a minus x times p square minus a into dp by dx equals to 0. Do you notice? We are have, having p square minus a in both the terms, right? So, we will take p square minus a common from these two terms then. We will get p square minus a times p minus x into dp by dx equals to 0. Then p square minus a equals to 0 and p minus x into dp by dx equals to 0. So now we are having two equations, right? P square minus A equals to 0 and P minus X into DP by DX equals to 0. Okay. Let's consider the first one. P square minus A equals to 0. 
then p square equals to a then p equals to square root of a see we have given differential equation a p square minus 2y p plus a x equals to 0 okay let's consider it as equation number 1 so now we'll put this p equals to square root of a in this 1 substitute p equals to square root of a in 1 then you get x into p square root of a whole square minus 2y into square root of a plus ax equals to 0 then x a minus 2y into square root of a plus ax equals to 0 x a plus ax that is 2 x a minus 2y square root of a equals to 0. Here we are trying to find the solution. Okay. So now you can take two common from these two terms. Then two times x a minus y into square root of a equals to 0. So from this we will get x a minus y into square root of a equals to 0. Okay. If you take 2 to RHS, it becomes 0, right? Then you'll get x a minus y into square root of a equals to 0. Fine. So you can write this as, all right. Again, you can rewrite it as y into square root of a equals to x into a. Then y equals to x a by square root of a. We know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2. Then a power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, which is equals to a power 1, that is a. So, since a equals to a power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, you can write this as a power 1 by 2 into a power 1 by 2, which is equals to square root of, since a power 1 by 2 is square root of a, right? So, you can replace this a by square root of a into square root of a by the denominator as it is. You can cancel 1 square root of a, then you get y equals to x into square root of a. Here we don't have any arbitrary constant to get a unique solution, right? It does not contain arbitrary constant c and also this is solution obtained from the equation not from the general solution okay general we have not we have not uh, got this solution from any general solution right so and also it does not contain any c the solution which does not contain arbitrary constant c is called singular solution. Okay, this is singular solution. So from p square minus a equals to 0, we got a singular solution. Coming to the second equation, here you are having dp by dx. Okay, so using this we can perform integration and also we can find a general solution. Okay. Fine. Now coming to the second equation. You can also write this as y equals to square root of a into x. Which is similar solution. Now consider the second one, p minus x into dp by dx equals to 0. You can write this as p equals to x into dp by dx 
right? Also, you can rewrite it as x into dp by dx equals to b. So this becomes 1 by p into dp equals to take x and dx to RHS, you will get 1 by x into dx. Here the variables are separable. Okay, so we will get some general solution from this. Right? Now, we can integrate on both sides. Then, integral 1 by p dp is law of p equals to integral 1 by x dx is log x. Since both the terms are in log, so we take constant as log c. Then, log p equals to, we know that log a plus log b equals to log ab. Then you can write this as log x into c. That is log xc. Also we know that if log a equals to log b, then a equals to b. So from this we will get p equals to x into c. Okay. Now, Put P equals to XC in equation 1. That is in the given differential equation. Substitute P equals to XC in 1. So what is 1? You are having XP square minus 2YP plus AX. Equals to 0. Now what we are going to do? We are simply going to substitute P equals to XC. Then X times X square C square minus 2Y C A plus AX equals to 0. Since we are having X in all the three terms, so take X common from all these terms. Then we will get x times x square c square minus 2yc plus a equals to 0. From this we will get x square c square minus 2yc plus a equals to 0. So here the solution contains arbitrary constant c and also it is obtained from the general solution. Right? Okay? We got general solution from this using variable separable method. Alright, so this is a required solution for the given differential equation. Okay, so you got this from this equation that is P minus X into DP by DX equals to 0. Therefore, x square into c square minus 2yc plus a equals to 0 is the required solution. This required solution of the given differential equation. Okay? It contains arbitrary constant and it is obtained from the general solution. Okay? This completes a problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable for y in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.